Yo, what's up guys? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty. I'm doing a video right now unscripted about the notion that we need a revolution. This might sound like old hat to you, and if it is, once you get a minute in, just go ahead and close out and find something better to do with your time. If you think a revolution is something that America needs, stay tuned. Um, this will be a short message to show you why that's uh, misguided. I'm going to use this candle that I happen to see here as, a, as an example let the uh, label be the status quo in this case. So imagine you are saying, I want a revolution. This is what happens in a revolution. You have the status quo and you think, let's change it. You make a change and this is the change process and then it stops right back where it was and you find yourself right where you were. Now, the candle analogy is probably not gonna do it for everyone. Let me use some words. Um, so, what happens in a revolution? There's a vacuum of power. So some revolutionary people, some counter um, status quo, uh, you know, insurgencies will um, basically, you know, pick pickaxe and 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 pick it and, and possibly wage some sort of a war or a conflict to try to take the power away from the person currently or the group currently holding the power. In this case, in America, we can spend us all day talking about, is it this group, is it that group, is it the Illuminati, is it the Bilderbergs, is it blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who it is. What matters is to remember that when you take the power away, if you're not tur turning to a philosophical, voluntarist society, there's going to be a vacuum of power. What goes into that vacuum of power can be free market solutions, it can be a multiplicity of options, it could be local control, it could be a, a handing over of local to more immediate control, a peaceful dissolution of federal government in America as, as an example to the world. The world's crying right now for America to stop being so imperialistic and to stop dictating what has to get done. You hear Russia basically, you hear Vladimir Putin of Russia basically saying, we don't even care about Russia's hegemony at all. This is just about there being a second narrative to the, to the only narrative which exists in the world, which is what America wants, what the West wants. People can't even say America anymore when they're talking about America. They have to say the West. Because by saying the West, it makes it sound like there's other people that agree, other groups that agree. The UK um, tacitly perhaps being an extension or the US being an extension of, of Great Britain. However you want to look at it, in the day, it's not an anarchist or not a volunteerist thing to say for you to say we need a revolution. And this is targeted, I saved it a little too further in as I, further than I meant to, this is targeted at someone I respect, but who I wish to check in this regard, Chris Green of AMTV does a great job at presenting the alternative to the mainstream media, but what he could do a little better at, in my opinion, is, is not getting people into a, a froth of the mouth uh, state where they think a revolution is the answer. We don't need violence and we don't need another group to take power he sit here in this recent video where he breaks down the Democratic um, debate, the recent one, points out a lot of great points, and then basically says in so many words, Hillary lost, and everyone on the Democratic side sucks, which they do, um, but you know what the best thing would be was at least if we had Trump versus Hillary. And I'm not surprised, that's what we get all over the place, is people trying to pick the lesser of two evil, but that's all he's doing. So if you're an AMTV guy, if you're a Christopher Green fan, Write in the comments, say, look, you know, I agree with this guy RJ at Roads to Liberty. Well, you don't have to give me a plug, but you could just say, I think that a revolution is, is maybe the right word you want to, the, 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 you're trying to use that word to convey the thing you feel, but a revolution isn't the thing you want as much as uh, an evolution. And I know Adam Kokesh has spoken about this. I know that uh, this distinction has been made in, on, on the Freedom Fiends with Michael, D, Michael W. Dean and other places. So this isn't my original idea. But I think it bear, bears repeating right now, and especially in light of what Christopher Green, he goes, revolution, 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 three times in a row. Um, then what, Chris? Then what? Then we have new new um, puppet masters, and we're and then we're tax slaves to some other new uh, hierarchy. His channel would fall apart if we had volunteerism, because he doesn't really understand volunteerism. He just understands complaining about the status quo. Take away the status quo. What does his channel subsist on? I have no idea. Thank God Roads to Liberty is about volunteerism, so we can talk about volunteerism until we get there, and then once we're there. So anyway, thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and I'd love to, as always, hear your comments below. Thanks, guys.